Okay, how's everybody doing today? Well, as you can see, I've got me a little photo or a little solar cell here. It's a battery charger. And I think, I don't know if I can, but I got to buy another piece so I can do it. But for now, I'm going to run this. Just set it up there for now and let it charge. Uh, you know, we got an alternator problem on this tractor. Constantly having to charge the battery. So what I'm hoping is after I get a... <coughs> Excuse me. But anyway, I get to get a charge regulator. And then I may mount this on here permanent somehow. And uh, see how that works. Eventually, I plan on plan to uh, either rebuild or buy another alternator. I've got some information how I can turn the alternator into a welder as well as an alternator. We're going to give that a try. But we're going to give this little solar generator a try right now. See how that works. Okay, well, got me another toy. We're going to unbox this here. And, uh, hooks to the tractor hopefully we'll make hooking up all these implements easier let me go get a tripod for y'all okay here it is in the box it's got instructions I'll look at them someday it's got styrofoam blocks in the way Starphone box. They gotta be good for something. I just ain't figured out what. Yeah. There's one. Got a pin here. Well, just looking at it, it looks heavy. We'll see. I mean, it is Harbor Freight. Uh, I've done pretty good with Harbor Freight stuff. I know a lot of people complain. I don't know. I've had pretty good luck with their stuff. Kind of wish this tripod was Harbor Freight. Let's see if I can get this thing out of here. Y'all can't see anything there. This tripod's horrible. Let me buy me a new one. Right there it is. Well, there it is. It's on there. Got my little trailer hitch on there too. Uh, I think, I don't know, but I think that I'm either gonna have to have some longer pins here. Some, something. I mean it fits on there, but it's not quite right. I think there's some bushings to go over here too to uh, do that. But it's on there. And uh, Seems to work. It's nothing that catches it up here. But as long as those hold, these here don't come off, then this shouldn't come off. There it is. I'll give you a more full report later. Okay, so we tried our little quick hitch deal on this. And this is actually just about a half inch too wide. Uh, I think I think we can fix it though if we unbolt it and move things around and make it work on this. Uh, yeah, so we're gonna give that a try. 
This side, this is the reason I bought that thing. Cause it's just so hard to get hooked up. And yeah, so we're gonna do that, and uh, we'll see what happens. Uh, ain't nothing but a puzzle, as they say. So anyway, we're gonna get some chores done here. I've also <laughs> spent too much money looking for parts for the, not looking for, but ordering parts for the old backup Chevy. Um, they should be, I don't know when they'll be here, but anyway, spent money on them. Uh, lawnmower's there. And, uh, my pet, my plug didn't hold. Let me get this. See, so we're waiting on the tube. We're gonna try just put a tube in there because it's like seventy dollars for a, a tire for that. Actually, not quite that much, but a tube is twenty-five. So we're gonna try a tube first. and see how that goes. But anyway. Having, number one farm hands having a few issues with this. that one shut first. And then, see if you can slide it this way. It's a little cantankerous. It's like the dimensions are off a little bit here. Maybe this wasn't the, as good a deal as I thought it was going to be. Latch it and then put your pin in. About now. Okay, there we go. Well. We'll see. You should probably take a, some, some learning curve here, but we'll get it figured out. I think it'll work when we get everything adjusted. All right. Like I was saying, we ordered a bunch of parts. Hopefully get the old backup truck where we can drive it. I don't have to worry so much. Take a few minutes here and water my garden. I should have got out here this morning and done it, but I didn't, so, but, growing, get this water hose here, it's my red and white corn, I forget the name of it, the potatoes are starting to bloom, it looks like, and they'll be ready shortly. I think as soon as they get done, I'll add some more dirt to that. And give me some more. Here's our tomatoes. Some of them. I don't know if you can see that one there, but it's got tomatoes on it. There's lots and lots of water. My jalapenos got a little jalapeno pepper on there. I don't know what y'all can see for sure, but a little sweet pepper there. It can't make up its mind what it wants to do. 
I think it's making peppers too. Jalapenos, they don't mind the hot weather too much. Still like water, but hot weather is fine by them. Give them plenty of water. You might be able to see them tomatoes a little better from this angle. It's a little Roma tomatoes. Said I haven't figured out yet quite what I got growing here with this. Just pulled this a kink in this stupid water hose. So forgive the jerking around. I'm trying to get that kink back there out. My watermelon. They were blooming the other day, but something got in here digging again. I don't know if it's knocked the blooms off or what, but anyway. Up some water here. The seed that didn't grow. Anyway, getting them some water. Still nothing in there. And these wild and crazy potatoes here. Hope they're just not making plants. They've got a month or so head start on everything else. But like I said, I'll dig them up, add some more dirt and stuff, plant more. These cucumbers here are going crazy. Thought I could see where they was making, but maybe they're just making leaves. I don't remember what's what here now. They'll probably be making here before long though. Mm -hmm. Squash, we like squash. I think I said cucumbers, didn't I? I don't know. There's squash, three different types of squash. There's zucchini, acorn, and straight neck, it's called. And my folks grew some called the crooked neck, and they didn't care much for it. So, sweet potatoes doing all right. We're getting with the program. Keep them lots of water too. I know this is kind of boring content, watching water run into a tub. But so what I'm doing right now, hitting this stuff again just because I got to go around it with my water hose. Stuff here is going kind of slow. I'm wondering maybe it just doesn't have enough nutrients down in there. I got to get some tea made. here get y'all some video of the new calf I don't think I've got to post any good video of her yeah I've made her nervous just gonna get on the other side of her protector butch. Look how he's grown. Okay, so I gotta drag this water hose back over and water chickens. Rhonda has already fed them. And I was messing with that quick hitch. So I'm behind schedule here. That's okay. I've been telling the number one farm hand that it's been Sunday since yesterday morning. 
one long Sunday this weekend. Tells me it don't work that way. I'm trying. <laughs> and by the way, that that stuff I got today, the quick hits and the little solar battery charger were Father's Day gifts. I appreciate them. I was going to buy them. I've been kind of saving up for it. But uh, got them for Father's Day instead. That's pretty cool. Good. So, I got stuff to uh, fix the Chevy. Or one of the Chevys. I got another one out there I'm going to have to work on. And then there's this bunch. So, y'all, my tripod is horrible. Yeah, you can see. Uh, while y'all are sitting there, I'm going to drag this water hose over. Get it in there selling water. It doesn't look like they need much. Throw this water hose in, I'll pick y'all up, and we'll go in there and see the little ones. Came out here last night, and they were all out, all the little ones. They just ran through the fence. Which, for anybody that's new and is curious, some of your older people may not, or not older people, but some of you people have been with me a while may want to plug your ears because this is a premier one poultry netting. Came with a solar charger and, and uh, it comes with one strand, I think it's a 100 foot strand of. The poultry netting and then I ordered a second strand make sure that we had enough room for them and I like it uh, I used to have our chickens I don't know if you can see it back over in there in a uh, permanently placed pen and uh, I don't know just we had chickens getting sick, and I think it, that's why. It was a 20 foot by 20 foot pen, and, and we had about 25 chickens in there, so I just don't think it was enough space for them. Uh, the only ones that we've had get sick and die this time around were some that I bought already grown and uh, the people I bought them from sent their two boys out they're 10 11 years old to catch them up for me and I didn't notice until I got home that uh, they didn't look too good they was missing feathers and all kinds of stuff but uh we lost a few of them. I think our chickens killed some. But, uh, we only had one or two of them survive, and then we had a predator incident, or several incidents. It took us a while. Uh, I don't know. We dealt with two possums and an armadillo, and I think a one huge coon. Uh, I. I don't know this to, I can't prove this, but uh, not long ago, a couple months ago, Opal was raising the devil. Quiet. Anyway, Opal was making a bunch of racket and I went to see what was going on. There was a big coon walking down the driveway towards the road. It was huge. Biggest coon I've ever seen. And I coon hunted for years. I've seen some big ones, but this one was huge. Yes, it was. Don't argue with me. But anyway, that's why I couldn't catch him in the live trap. He couldn't fit in it. So I got to get a bigger one. I got to get one for a, a wolf or something. I don't know. He was huge. I bet he weighed 50 pounds. 
Okay, well, I gotta get these chickens watered. There's the little ones over there. Uh, let's throw how. That's where they like to hang out. We're probably gonna have to take that out. Yes, she got stuck under there. Why is that under there? What is that? It's an old toy or something. Okay. Well, Rhonda came out here and propped this up so they can get under it in and out. I'm not sure what y'all are seeing right now. Anyway, they'll get in and run in and out of there. I started telling a story while I got distracted. But I come out here to check on them. And uh, all of them, too, were on the other side of that fence there. Out there just walking around like it belonged there. And I come out here and saw them, and I'm pretty sure we'll be able to catch them myself. So I went back in, got Ethan and Rhonda. And Rhonda had already called it a night. <laughs> but uh, we come out here. By the time I got back out here, me and Ethan, they were all back in. So we had to uh, put them back in there. But they'll walk through that Premier One fencing. Premier One fencing works uh, as long as you you got to pay attention because sometimes at least once a year you've got to pull that battery out and charge it from an outlet in the wall. Usually in the winter time, but uh, and then it's good for a while. The the solar charge will keep up with it. I'm not sure that it's going to keep up with it now because of where we're setting. Uh, it's uh, yeah five after five and it's in full shade it's charging a little bit but it's in full shade and it's in full shade until about nine ten o'clock in the morning and it's I don't know it's only got four or five hours of direct sunlight on it so it's probably not gonna charge as well but the way they that's the problem with the way they build this you've got to uh, well, you can see here, it clamps on there, just clips on there. But those clamps are only at the end. And they're made so you can put two pieces together. I don't know if you can see that, but they'll slip in. The other piece looks just the same. You put them in opposite direction. They lock in place pretty good. Okay, well, I'm going to have to get these chickens watered. So I might as well wrap this up. It's getting pretty long anyway. So let's look out for each other. Let's help each other when we can. And don't forget to pray. I'll catch you all later.